Well, there you are, and welcome back. It is fall, that is right, and we are at the Patterson House in Winchester, California. Uh -oh. Must have been a ghost bug. So, the Patterson House. Now there's stuff in my saddle. Well, this place, I started reading up on it. I've never been here. Another haunted place in Southern California. This is one of the oldest places out here in Southern California. The house right over here, 30 feet by 30 feet. John Patterson. Uh, lived here with his wife Maria Patterson and their kids. This is now a museum. And if you Google Patterson House, Winchester, California, there has been some ghost adventures and let's just say some other, some other sightings of some women and children here. And one of the things I did read, for all you ladies out there, Mr. Patterson, well, he has a type. And he likes blondes. That's right. Patterson House. Let's take a look around. It looks like it's closed up, but we could see a lot. I'm doing this on my Canon today, SX740, in case you wonder what camera I'm using. It's almost like the, the X7, but it's a... Uh, I don't even think they make it anymore, but that's neither here nor there. The reason why I'm shooting on this is because I thought it'd be good to shoot on this just so we can um, maybe use some ghost apps during the day. I don't think ghosts don't sleep, do they? Gotta figure it's a 24 7 job. Well, let's go. So here is the entrance, 28030, on whatever street I'm on, to the museum, to the Patterson House. I believe they do a haunted house here during this time, up to Halloween. Oh, look at that. Crow or vulture, I've never seen that carved out of wood before. That is pretty darn cool. There's, take a look inside there, as only you guys can. Winchester Museum. I guess that'd be the ticket booth. And then off in the distance is the house. We'll go over to the other side. We can see it a lot better. And that hiding, hiding in the woods. Smokey the Bear. There we go. There's Smokey and a looks like a carved eagle as well. Lots of carved sightings here. Now these pepper trees too, um, the Pattersons came from Los Angeles, or actually above Los Angeles, and when they came down here. And while they came through, it was said that Maria, when she was coming through, she liked the pepper trees, and that's what those are, pepper trees. And she picked up a bunch of seeds. So these are Maria's pepper trees all around the property. This is one of the oldest structures, and now we can kind of see it better on this side. This is 132 years old. They actually replaced the other uh, building that was here because that was an adobe house. And like I said, it's 30 by 30 feet. The whole house. And they were coming down from Yountville, California. So, passing on their way. Picked up a couple seeds. And look at that. As I walk across the street real quick here. This is a very dead street right now. Not much activity. That could have been the beginning of Maria's pepper trees. And look at that. That could have been John Patterson's Modelo box. Okay, I'm gonna, not going to do a continuous shot, but I believe they probably used this stuff. And this is trounced pretty good. So a lot of people must stand over here and wait. That's just a little replica. Oh, a bird. It's a little cooler today. 
the well I gotta figure is original in the distance. See Danny Punk's life? I told you to come out here. This place is cool. He said it was too small. And now watch. He'll be out here tomorrow. Yeah, Danny Punk's life. Check out his videos too on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna walk to the other side. I want to show this too. It's uh, the Patterson House, the old sign. It's now owned by the Winchester Historical Society. There's the well right there. Hey, look at that, a cactus. All right, the phone number is 951-294-0899. That is very close to a phone number of somebody I know. I wonder if they want me to put that out there. But um, there were four women that lived here. They had quite a few kids. Their son died of tuberculosis, I believe. Their daughter worked for Santa Fe Railroad. She's pretty prominent around here. Most of them had a lot of uh, influence in the area after being landowners. Bugs, what's going on? Alien. And then out in the distance, you can see the scarecrows. But yeah, the, one of the daughters worked for the Women's Society out here. This is crazy. Well, this is creepy. It is small. I, I gotta agree. Okay, let me pan back on that. Yeah, John Patterson, when he came out here, he was one of the major landowners out here. He actually had his hands in quite a few things. Oh, I really wish I could go in there. Um, what else did he do? He was a store owner. He was a tinsmith. He was a blacksmith. He owned the first creamery. Whoa. Is that a swimming pool? I don't think so. He owned a creamery. He had a... Well, he wasn't the owner, but he was part owner of a brickwork uh, company out here. That is just something super old. And uh, he was also a farmer. Okay, so the first app we're going to use. That is Ghost Detector. That's the one that's like the camera. You've used this one before. I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. Thank you. John, thank you. So, this one has the little radar thing there. There's an alien on the screen, as you can see, and in real life. One thing I do want to say about this house is there are a lot of flies here. An abnormal amount for their not being... Well, I didn't see any farms or livestock. There's quite a few flies. If you stop, they'll start landing on you. So, I'm not showing really much around here. Not even on the radar. But we'll keep going. All right, let me cut to something. I'll go walk around and see if anything changes. That could have been John Patterson's green golf ball, too. So we switch over to GhostVid. That's where you kind of use the camera and it'll show like that. Let me see, is it showing on here? My only problem with this app is like, see the tree limbs and like, I'm saying like a lot. Oh wow, that's weird. There's really nothing down there at that little sewage drain. Show it there, but... Or maybe it's picking up on the... Sticks? Or the line painted on there? I'm not sure. Let me get closer. See what it shows. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking up on the dimensions of it, but it looks like something's moving around. I'm just going to go and see if I can see anything like the post right now. So it's showing the post. So I want to show you real quick too. Oh, and I did find out which street I'm on. Go figure. If you're looking where this is. It's on East Grand and Patterson. Yes, go figure. Okay, so that is my phone. Whoa. So, maybe I can show you. See how it picks up? Well, that's nothing. That is kind of weird. Well, it picks up on the post. 
but now it looks like it's picking up on something closer to the fence. I think this one does work better at nighttime. But yeah, it's picking up on the dimensions there. And then, like the weed right there. Let's go to a different app. So we're in the middle of the road here. And I went to Ghost Radar there. Looks like there's something pretty close. It'd be right over in this general area. It's now green and yellow. It says dig. There's a couple other ones. But that's all possibly in the farm where the Patterson farm would have been. Those were in the main street. Let me give you just the juxtaposition. The house is to my right. I'm in the main street. A helicopter is coming for us. And I'm getting more activity over here than I have been. It's a big helicopter. That's a Cal Fire. Hopefully no fires today, but okay. I'm gonna follow this a little bit more. So yeah, this is the little palm tree grove. That seems to be in the same spot. Let's keep walking that way. Okay, so this is the middle of the street. Right to our right would be right over here. Hello, show yourself. It says folks. This is not very exciting, but it is historic. 130 years old. I think nighttime might be the time to come back to this place. I don't know if I'll be coming back to this place. Give one more shot. Let's see if you can see anything in the windows. And from walking around, it looks like no one is here. It says beware of dog. Not even the dog is here. It's just me and the alien. Taking a peek from this side of the house. Zero activity. I'm gonna give this one one more shot. Actually, it shows the EVP levels. Well, they're just, no, they're nothing. I really wanted this to be something. <laughs> it really wasn't. This is open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, that was highly uneventful. I was really hoping we could pull a little bit more out of that, but what can I say? When there's nothing, there's nothing. I mean, maybe inside, like I was saying, they're open Thursday, Friday, or no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I guess for tours, and then I believe for these flies, Halloween time, they have the nighttime tours and let you go through it and see what you can find. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll be coming back. Been to better haunted places than this, but been here it's 132 years old Patterson house John Maria rest in peace 132 years old you need some pepper here's your pepper trees um, once again thank you to everybody who subscribed if you haven't subscribed please consider why not it's not gonna hurt you um, if you have any questions or have any ideas go ahead and send them to me otherwise um, I'm not sure where we'll go next Got a few things in mind, but I wasn't waving goodbye yet, but now I am. See you next time.